Yeah, just uh, proud of the grit we showed. Uh, obviously, uh, River Baldwin was playing at a high level, and and when she went out, they were able to make a, a good run, and then uh, put it in overtime. It had been real easy for our players to kind of hang their heads, and uh, instead, you know, I think we were three for 15 for the game from three, and we hit two out of three in the overtime. So they stepped up, hit some big shots, got a few stops, and yeah, so this is a great win. Obviously, Florida State's a very talented team, high-ranked team, and uh, you know it was good that we could kind of hold serve here at home. That's important. So uh, nice win. Proud of the effort. We'll go ahead with questions. So the girls said that one of the reasons they feel like they've been able to have success is because you have confidence in them and you, you trust them. Is that something that you feel comes naturally to you as a coach, or is it something that you've had to work on? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's something I have to always work on. Uh, my friends would probably say my glass is half empty a lot of times, so uh, that's nice uh, that they said that, and uh, maybe hopefully I'm doing a little bit better job. But, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm, this team obviously has given me a lot of reasons to have confidence in them, and, and uh, again, tonight wasn't, you know, everything didn't go the way you'd like. Uh, but they find a way to get it done. So, um, like I said, proud of them for that, and, and that does give you confidence that they're going to make a play when they have to. When you begin the season unranked, could you foresee where you guys are right now? Could you have visualized that you beat this point? Yeah, you know, the thing is, rankings a lot of times are based on the year before, and you know, we uh, you know we finished kind of in the middle of the pack a year ago, and we lost a lot of talented players off that roster. And uh, so I understand why we weren't ranked or why we're ranked eighth in the ACC in the preseason. Uh, you know, again, there's just a lot of talented teams. This league is really good. I do think the portal has changed things in that regard. Uh, now people are filling holes with seniors or juniors and so there's uh, there's a lot of experienced talent on the floor uh, when you go up against somebody in this league so um, yeah but again it is uh, it is uh, exciting to see how you know how quickly they were able to climb but uh, it's it's early yeah you know, as I say it's early I can still screw them up you know so we're we'll try not to let that happen what is what was River's injury? Or what yeah, I really, to be honest with you, I haven't talked to the medical people or River uh, other than when I went on the court. They said it was an ankle, but it sounds like it was uh, pretty pretty well turned. Uh, he said like her sock came off. It was turned so much, but uh, I don't know. But uh, you know, uh, just kind of like rally the troops and. See, you know, see if some other people can step up. But it is tough because she was playing at a really high level, both ends of the floor, you know. Offensively, she's scoring the ball, rebounding. Defensively, she's making it tough for people to score over her. And she's also stepping in when somebody else gets beat, she'll step in and take a charge. Somebody said she took five tonight. Pretty remarkable, especially for a post player to slide over and take that many. So, uh, you know, when you got a player doing that, uh, it tells you that, that they are, uh, you know, all in. They're going to do everything they can to help you win a game. How did you rally the troops tonight? And, and, and did you see in your players' eyes that, that they still felt confident when River went down? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, we just, you know, again, just reminded them, you know, hey, uh, just don't, we're not going to lose at home. We're going to find a way to get it done. And, you know, the crowd's awesome. They make a big difference, I think. Uh, they give us confidence sometimes, even when things aren't going well. And they also probably are a little intimidating to the opponent. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know what the decibels are, but it's pretty loud in that place uh, when they get going. So uh, they definitely make a difference. Look at uh, without ball, that looked like towards the back of the game in overtime, you went five out. Both the yeah, we went basically. a little bit smaller. Uh, you know, Mimi can shoot the three and Obviously, we played Madison Hayes. Again, they were kind of, they, they're kind of guard oriented, had a small lineup there a lot. So we could still felt like we could match up uh, okay. And so, yeah, we did go small some. And, 
you know, it just depend on the situation. We need, uh, obviously, need some other people to step up and start with Mallory Collier and his tough freshman. You're throwing in the fire now, but she's going to have to help us some. And, and then, you know, if we do play Madison at the four some, then we're going to have to have some other guards help us. So, uh, like I said, we'll just try to uh, overnight figure that all out. You know, the tough part is you're going to Virginia Tech, and they got one of the best post players in the country in Elizabeth Kitley. So, uh, not ideal timing. But, uh, you know, hey, another opportunity. It does seem like uh, there's always one or two guards that get high rebounds on them. I don't know if that's something brought up. What's that? Uh, you always seem to have one or two guards that get high rebound totals. Rivers had 16 the other night. I mean, how much are you going to need that? Yeah, so can yeah, that's critical. You know, uh, it's critical every game. But now with River, you know, doing such a great job on the boards down there, now to take that out of the lineup, it's gonna, it ain't going to be replaced by one person. It's going to take uh, everybody chipping in and, and going and getting some boards. So, um, you know, hopefully, like I said, we got now at least we got a little bit of time to, not much, but a little bit of time to, to try to figure out how we want to approach it. Thanks, everybody. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. <laughs>